Me and my mom are shopping for pots and pans. Because my mom loves shopping for pots and pans. She doesn't love shopping for pots and pans. It's just that every time a maid leaves my house, she decides to take trophies. <laughs> and depending on the length of time that that maid has been there, the price increases. Like, I've been here, yeah, one pot. Two weeks, fucking knives. <laughs> now, we're shopping in this one place. And she looks at this pot. And this was, this was back in 2008, where things are really bad. Things are going off the scale. We're looking at this pot. It's, the pot is like 200,000. Now, this is standard for like a regular pot at that time. And she's like, I'm not paying 200,000 for like a non-stick pot. We're going to the next shop. And the next shop is next door. Like, Habanas, Cindy's, right next to each other. Walk out, walk in. The same pot, same design, same everything is going for 300,000. My mom's like, deuces, we're going to back to the other shop. Yes, my mom says deuces. <laughs> so we go back to the first shop, and that same pot, this is no, this is no later than five minutes. This, the same pot is 500 million. Aye, 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 mama, aye, we're, not, we're going home, we don't need a pot, we can, we can cook outside. <laughs> now, things got so bad with the inflation thing. Um, yeah, you couldn't even be a supervillain. I thought about, this is a true story. Not factual, but true. <laughs> now, there was a room full of political leaders. Everyone who was important in Zimbabwe was gathered in this room. Robert Mugabe was seated. <laughs> Changirai. <laughs> that other dude who's there, but we don't know what he does quite. <laughs> and they're all discussing what they need to discuss. I don't do politics, I don't know what's going on. And now, the supervillain bust in the room. My name is Taurai. And everyone's frightened, everyone's silent, just like this. Word. And he demands, he demands from these people the most powerful political powers in, oh, alliteration. The most powerful political powers in the room. He wants from them $15 billion. Everyone panicked. Because when a terrorist comes into your lives, into your homes, you freeze. But Changirai stood up. <laughs> he took out one note. <laughs> <laughs> and sent him on his way. Now, moving, moving, from, moving from Zim to South Africa, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned that I'm different. Like, I thought I was different back home, just because, like, I only speak English, and I speak English like this. Like, my standard voice. This is my actual voice if you speak in my conversation. This is me. This is me. This is, I don't speak any other language, and it weirds people out. And the other thing that weirds people out is my name. My name is Bill. It's four letters, and it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> And every time I meet someone new, especially at first, especially at first, hey, what's your name, Bill? <laughs> what's your real name? <laughs> I look to people for help. It's like, no, 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 but what's your African name? Like, I'm trying to tell you, I got no African name, it's Bill, and then there's a space, and then my surname. And I learned, I learned, aside from the name thing, in my household, everyone else has Shana names. That's how it went. Takudzwa, Taurai. No, he's not the super villain. Takudzwa, Taurai, <laughs> Bing Esai. And they decided to name me Bill. <laughs> and what, in the years that I was in Zim, I realized, if it's not, if it's not a traditionally Shana name, it's an English word, which is fine. But then the English words go crazy. They go from blessing to paper cut. <laughs> I theorized, I theorized. I wrote a thesis about this in my Eco's essay. I may have failed that test. Okay. The last thing that their parents see on the way to the delivery room is what they're going to name their child. I thought about this. Because you see things like paper cut, you see things like, like problems, you see things like bill, because they saw the phone bill on the table. <laughs> and any, any random object, I got cousins whose names table and chair, and that's not okay. Call them TT and C-boy. 
<laughs> you think I'm joking, but C boy is what Sulu, what is Sulu right now? Now, coming, I just learned it's not just my name, it's also me. I learned when I'm with my white friends, I'm the black guy. I'm always token. Yes, you can laugh, say, hang out with her. I'm always the black guy. And they always look to me for confirmation before something gets racist. It's just like, and I'm like, ah, let it go now. Next time, shake my finger and just trust. And then even when I hang out with the brothers and sisters, I'm still the black guy who talks really white, and they don't trust me, and they look to me for the white confirmation. Is this right? Is this right? Did we, did we pronounce it right? Is it providence or providence? Now, there's all these other aspects to me, and I'm like, I'm always different in all these categories. But what, what if I was different in a good way? What if I was born to be different? What if I was born to be the Avatar? <laughs> Go! Zulu. Shauna. English. If I can bring together the four languages, I can save the world, I can save the Rainbow Nation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.